Hi guys! So I, after using this keyboard, this one, this beautiful keyboard for about, oh, wait, 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 I need to turn it off. Okay, alright. So let's go on to the full review after using this keyboard for about a month or so. And so far, so far, I really, really enjoy this keyboard. It's so nice. I, this is my first ever mechanical keyboard. So to be honest, it's a very good beginner friendly keyboard because I don't have to solder on the key switches. And yeah, let's go straight on with the pros and cons for this beautiful wooden keyboard. Pros of this keyboard is that it's hot swappable. I like that you don't have to solder on the key switch, you just have to, a uh, hot swappable mean that you, means that instead of you soldering on the key switch, key switch referring to the these little things here, the things that you put into, um, I don't have to solder them. I just have to take it out and put it back in. And if I want to switch them with other types of key switch, I can just do that by just taking it out and putting it back in. So pretty neat. Um, second pro is that it is Bluetooth. Yes, it's Bluetooth, meaning that I don't have to bring around a cable most of the time. And if I just want to take it outside and use it without the cable, I can just do that and less of a hassle that way. Third one is that, wait, let's see. Third one is the aesthetic. I think it's the most great, biggest looking, nicest thing I've ever had so far. And it's just really aesthetically pleasing to look at, especially if you're the type of person who likes a wooden aesthetic and a wooden case like this. So if you're looking for a keyboard that's unique and stylish, this is definitely for you. Okay, um, another thing I like is that it is smaller. It's smaller and it's a 60% size, meaning that it doesn't have a numro, numro, sorry, not numro, numpad, and it doesn't have those F, the F keys on top. So it's really small, but it's okay. You can access all those by using layers. So by pressing the FN key, which is somewhere around here, you can press FN key to go to your specific arrow keys. And I like to use a delete key. So to access those delete keys, I just press FN and M to delete. So yeah, you can actually map the keys with the software that it comes with which I will explain that in detail for later on. But another thing that I like is that it's very customizable and it has many size options, meaning that if you want those dedicated arrow keys, there's another one called GK64, which has more keys than the 61. So it has dedicated arrow keys. So if you really want that arrow keys, you can actually get the GK64. And there's actually another version, instead of wooden case, you can get one with aluminum and there's another one with plastic and that one is a lot cheaper and affordable. So yeah, this, it's very customizable. And do be informed that this is actually a keyboard kit. So most of the parts may not come with the kit, like the keycaps, it's definitely separate from the keyboard kit and the key switch you have to buy yourself. So when you buy this keyboard kit, make sure you buy um, keycaps and key switch that uh, will go on after you, when you're assembling it. Okay, so for the cons, I have to be really nitpicky about this if I ever want to say the cons, but I think the pros definitely overweigh the cons. The cons are that, well, the Bluetooth battery may not lasts as long as about three days, maybe about one or two days if you fully charge it. The software is a bit difficult to navigate because there's not a lot of, of instructions um, that are available online if you want to look up the software. And it's the GUI is not that good and it's difficult to navigate, but it is um, possible to map your keys and the software is, is workable. There are other keyboards with better software, but so far it's it's okay, you know. But it is possible to map a certain keys to your liking, by the way. So there's that. 
Okay, for the next con is that it may be pricey for an average user. Like if you are seeing this in a perspective of, I just want to buy any normal keyboard, that's all. It may be pricey for you. But for people who are really invested in, you know, mechanical keyboards, they really like to experiment with different type of key switches, they want a very unique looking keyboard, then this keyboard kit is for you because it may be pricey, but it is an investment if you really, really like using keyboards and you really like using your computer. It really depends on what you want for a keyboard. And I think this is a very good entry level for beginners who want to explore mechanical keyboards. Music